everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you through my makeup collection and storage. I recently finished a huge declutter series that's been going since about March, I think, where I've been going through every single category in my collection and trying to at least halve it. I think I ended up on average probably getting rid of nearly 60% of my makeup in total. Some categories I did way more, others I only did 50%. So I think in total it's somewhere nearing 60%. It just wasn't fitting in this apartment. I felt like I was never using my makeup because I would open drawers and they'd be packed and I'd be like, oh. I feel like now I've gotten to a really good place. If you want to see the declutters, I'll have it linked in a playlist below. I've got a bunch of videos to keep you occupied for many hours of cleaning. You can listen to me chatter away in the background. But today I thought it'd be nice to kind of round off this whole thing by just showing you how I now store my collection that it's been a bit reduced and what's left basically. So this chest of drawers is where I store like the bulk of my makeup. That's where makeup lives basically long term. But I do have a little everyday makeup drawer in my bathroom which is where I do my makeup because it's such good lighting. And it's also nice if Alex is still sleeping in in the morning and I want to get ready I can go through the bathroom and turn the lights on and it's just nice to have that extra space. So I have a little everyday makeup drawer in there which I tend to swap out every couple of weeks because I don't like my powdered products to sit in the bathroom too long. It's not very good for them. So I try and rotate products in there quite frequently. But we will start by looking through the big Big chest as well and then we'll end with going through what's currently in my everyday makeup drawer. So this furniture piece is actually from Ikea and I kind of DIY'd it. I put on some new handles, some gold handles and I covered the front of each drawer in this white fur because the unit comes with like plain wood on three of them and then a weird like glass panel on one of them and I didn't like the way that they didn't match so I decided to just cover them all in fur plus it kind of matches my like fluffy little stool over here on this um, dressing table. Uh, also if you're curious about all the other bits and bobs around my room I think I'm gonna have a house tour coming after this video. I can't quite remember the order that I'm putting things up in because I'm pre-filming all these videos while I'm away. I think I'm currently in New Zealand right now when you're watching this. So let's go into the top drawer here. So this drawer in here is where I tend to keep foundations, concealers, setting sprays and primers. So these little dividers are from Daiso. I've got some of these plastic ones and then in some of the drawers further down you'll see I've got the kind of foam ones which I probably prefer actually over these plasticky ones but at the back here I have a couple of oh that's a BB cream but he fits nicely there <laughs> but I have a couple of setting sprays I recently finished up my Clinique one so that's why it's not sitting in the here because it's actually finished then I've got a bunch of foundations liquid foundations here and yes this is a reduced amount by quite a lot I had an obscene amount of foundations at one point so definitely culled them heats. All my little concealers are here, quite a lot of tube and wand sort of styles and then a couple of like pottle ones that are just kind of hanging out. My primers, these are where my primers sit in these little containers and then I back here I've got my Tarte primer because it's kind of big. This is the Marinesse primer, a Laneige primer and these are like BB creams and cushion foundations. So I've got quite a few little Asian ones. This is a YSL one another Laneige one. So yeah I love the fact that all of this fits into like one drawer it just makes it so much easier to like open and I can select myself a primer and then a foundation, a concealer, a setting spray like it's just really easy. <laughs> so in the next drawer down I have palettes at the back so I've kind of got more like face palettes and then eye palettes. Then I've got like single eyeshadows and more like cream and liquid eyeshadows. I've got brow products, yeah, a bunch of liners and things that are like quite tall. That's why I do quite like these deep drawers because you can stand your pencil liners up. And then I have my powders as well. So I've just kind of like got a couple lined up along here. And then at the back here I have some open mascaras. Now I don't have very many because I try and avoid having too many open at once. But um, these are a couple that I'm sort of rotating in with the one that's in my bathroom as well. I really love being able to actually see all my palettes and stuff again. It is definitely making me reach for them a lot more. So I'm really, really happy with this kind of setup. And I also love that my palettes are right next to like my single eyeshadows because I can kind of decide between them what I'd rather use. I found that for a while while I was using single shadows I'd never reach my palettes and kind of vice versa so it's nice having everything I sort of related in the one drawer. The great thing about these kind of Daiso dividers they come in different sizes and stuff and you can you can really customize it so if I do need to change up my storage at one point I can just rearrange the little dividers it makes it really really easy nothing's like set in stone. In the next drawer down we have 
lip products at the back so that is like the extent of my lip collection which is pretty cool i'm pretty proud of that i really reduce those a lot and there is still a little bit of room in case like a couple of extra things come in my life <laughs> and then we have blushes and highlighters this really does still look like quite a bit of makeup but i really do love cheek products they're kind of my my weakness i would say and i really love the way like i can easily see every product i've got it's just so nice having it all in the one space so as I say, if you want to see detailed things of like what I've kept, definitely check out my declutters. I'm pretty detailed in my declutters. I'll be like, um, I love this because X, Y, Z and I'm going to keep it or I don't like this and I'm going to get rid of it and here's why. So definitely if you want to like a really detailed analysis of what is actually in my collection, I'd definitely check out my declutters. And then in the final drawer, we have... Bronzers at the back, which again, I would have loved all of those to be in one drawer, but we just don't really have room. So bronzers and stuff are at the back. Then we've got some backup products here. So these are like unopened products. MAC Blankety Lipstick, always got to be one of those around. <laughs> and just things that I'm yet to open and try. I've got some false lashes along here. And then I also have like all my spare sponges and stuff just in this little bottle too. Now these dividers you can see here are the slightly different like foam plasticky kind of dividers. And I think I like these a bit better. I don't know why, they just kind of slot together nicer. They especially work well for lipsticks. So if you want to do like a lipstick drawer, I'd really recommend these like foam Daiso dividers. Some of my blushes were like a little bit fat for them, as you can see, like it kind of warps them a bit, but at least they're all really segregated. It like separates everything out nicely and makes everything easy to organize. Then we wander through to my bathroom. So over here in the corner is where I sit and do my makeup in the morning. I've got this mirror hanging here. Let's turn a light on it. Eh? This building faces towards the east, so I get a lot of nice natural light coming through this frosted window. It acts like a filter. It creates the most beautiful lighting to do your makeup in front of, so that's why I've hung this mirror from the ceiling, so it's suspended right in front of where I need my face to be. And over here in the corner, I just have a little selection of like my current brushes. Let me know if you'd like to see an update on my like brush collection. I can do that at some stage. And I just keep whatever current sponge I'm using. Yes, this looks terrible, but I used it this morning. <laughs> and this here is actually one of those like kind of dry brush changing pads. I got this from YesStyle. It came in a little plastic container, but I actually took it out and it fits perfectly in this little tray, which I think is from H&M Home. Just really nice, because that way if I'm using a brush and need to like change my color, if I'm doing my makeup, I can just literally be like Meh, and it will like get rid of whatever shadow was on there last and just makes it fresh to use. Not that I tend to use colors other than brown or beige or very neutral colors. It's usually not an issue, but if you are someone that likes more um, colorful eyeshadows, I definitely recommend getting one of those little like color switch pad things. I'll try and link it below the one I got from YesStyle because it was like $4. And then I just have like a little Ikea stool underneath that bench, which is like, it's literally the perfect bench. I love this apartment so much. So that just sits there and then I get to sit down and do my makeup and that's where I do all my filming for like beauty stuff as well. This is my little everyday makeup drawer. So as you can see, I put some of those little like foamy dividers in just to keep it somewhat sort of organized so the products aren't just flapping around when I open it. And some of the current things that are in my drawer, what have we got? This is a little DIY cushion foundation with the L'Oreal True Match in it. I've got the L'Oreal Lumi Bronzit in 01. I love that bronzer. Too Faced Blinded by the Light highlighter. That's a little compact mirror that my friend bought back from China. It's so cute. Um, this is my favorite blush at the moment, the Sugar Ball Cushion. It's in the shade 01, which is a really fresh pink. It's really cute. I've got some scissors, which I use for like false lashes and just other things. The Longcom Prep and Hydrate Primer, really enjoy that. I just opened this this morning, the Benefit Roller Lash. I love this mascara and they kindly sent me a new one, which is really nice because I was trying out the Marc Jacobs one, the Velvet Noir. It doesn't feel like it used to, I don't like it as much. So pretty stoked that I got this. So I'm using this at the moment. Benefit 24 hour brow setter, some pencil liners. I'm trying to use up this MAC Fix Plus. This is like the pink light version, which I don't think is very different to the original to be honest, but I'm just trying to use it up. Quite a few products over here that I'm really trying to see whether I want to put into my permanent collection. So this is the Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur. Triple Wear Foundation. The Art Class Liquid Satin Number One. This is the VDL Lumi Layer Primer. I was trying out the foundations of this and didn't enjoy the foundation, but I did quite like this primer, so I've been using that. 
got the sweet one. Holika Holika Hard Cover Glow. You'll notice a lot of these are from like Korean and Asian brands. That's because I get a lot of products from Yes Style to Try. This is the Double Lasting Foundation. I'm really enjoying this. It's really good. Got some lashes, which I'm actually currently wearing. The Quartz Beauty Jade. These are always in here. The current palette that I'm using is the MAC Prissy Princess palette. This has some really nice, just like basic cool toned neutral shades. I really love this for every day. Using this again, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light. Go through phases with this one. Uh, I've got a few concealers, NARS Radiant Creamy, as always, e.l.f. Camo. Yeah, and then a brow product. What am I using right now? BH Cosmetics Studio Pro. So that's a little squiz inside my everyday makeup drawer. So if you want to see exactly the single products that I've kept in my collection, go ahead and watch my declutters because as I say, I'm very detailed in them. Let me know as well if you'd like to see kind of regular updates on my, um, like what's in my everyday makeup drawer. I might even be able to do that sort of thing over on Instagram. I tried that in the past with the Instagram TV sort of feature, but I didn't really enjoy that because it still felt like I was making like a YouTube video, but just for Instagram. But I might be able to just be a bit more casual, like go live or something on Instagram and just show you guys through. Um, my Instagram's just at Anna Elaine as well, if you're interested. But yeah, so that's a little sneaky peek inside my makeup storage and how I've kind of organized it post declutters. I'm really, really happy with the amount that I have. I still have a lot, but Obviously this is my job so I need to have a bit of variety in my collection so that I can like do different things, different looks and play around with different products and give you guys reviews. But at the same time I was just feeling so swamped and I just feel so much better about how much I have. And if you guys aren't aware as well, recently I've been like asking to be taken off a lot of PR lists. Not that I was on many to begin with but there were some that were just sending me products quite regularly and like 90% of the time they were things that I just wasn't actually that interested in and they'd have to be donated and or I'd have to give them to friends and I just felt like that was such a waste of my time, their time sending out the products and also just environmentally it made me feel a wee bit, I'm definitely going to be receiving a lot less product in the mail from brands which is good. I think because I'll be able to actually really relish and cherish my collection but once again thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this kind of video make sure you subscribe and until next time I hope you have a wonderful couple of days and I'll see you in my next video bye